t okay the full body front this is what i'll have on the full body front then this is my sleeve okay and the sleeve will also be you add your seam allowance and add to, to have your full blouse connection so i will be using this particular sleeve now and i will use it to form the sleeve for the back so what we have here is our back bodies and this back bodies pattern i will first of all contour my back bodies so i'm contouring my center back by 0 0.75 for a perfect fit and from there i'm going to connect as you can see so what i have here will be taken away right away so i did this um that less i'm not using any that for my back so i did it that less so that means from this point, I'm going to measure my actual waist. My waist is 36 divided by 4. I have 9 inches. And from this center front, I'm also going to measure my actual bust. My bust is 40 divided by 4. I have 10 inches. So since I have them taken from the, after the uh, contour, back contour line, I am sure I have this, um, well positioned so the next i want to do is to bring back this sleeve you know this sleeve is going to be a continuation so the sleeve you are going to you know how this sleeve is we can see the line okay this is the line which is this line and i see through it i mean this i see through it so i turn it this way since i'm seeing through it i'll just make sure it matches up here and matches up here okay so once it matches up for me i'll just trace out what i have can you see i'll trace out what i have on the sleeve because the back and front sleeve is going to be the same so wherever it touches the armhole i will stop okay so from this neckline you are free to recreate your neckline okay so i would love to recreate this neckline to meet what i have on the chest line so i'll take it this way so i have it open at the back and that is how the, your draping is going to be so you can also come up with your neckline it all depends on you anyway okay you have choice of different necklines to create if you don't want it to open you can come up i will advise you come up okay so i'll be using this line because of the drape so the drape does not fall to and down so from the chest line i came up by two inches to have this line so from your chest line you can come up by two inches to have so you don't have it so open and the drape also relaxes well for you so this is what we have right here and i might also choose okay so the um the what we have on our on the armhole here i just want to see if i can bring this back and connect okay let me see how it works since we are working with this these two okay so instead of taking that measurement again i can bring back what i have here and just trace it out okay that is what i have on the center front so as i trace it out i'll just connect directly or i can just do this from that point i can just okay so i can do this you can see what i'm doing here so i'm not leaving this part open so i'll just do this okay so i'm not working with this please take note i'm not working with this so once i get this point i'll just connect that way or let me still try something else from that point the most important thing is that you have gotten that point so you can use this one because i'm seeing this to be that uh, shallow so let's go with what we have right here and i think is better for this particular 
sleeve so the back is ready now and it's time for us to cut what we have on the back so i just go into the waistline and i'll go into the side i'll follow the sleeve and i'll just cut up to the neckline of our choice and this is the sleeve back back sleeve This is the back sleeve. Everything here is the back sleeve that will carry the drape. So I'll just go in here this way. So I'm following the two inches above the chest line. And that is what we are cutting. So I have my bodies as you can see. And I have my sleeve. Alright, so right now, this is what we have at the back, okay? So if we have to bring back what we have for the front, the basic bodies for this dress will go this way, okay? And this will be sewn this way. But now, I don't actually want to have, um, I want these two sleeves to come together as one. Can you see just like a strap and after sewing the bodies you just connect from here to here so to do that i'll just take off what i have on the bodies so we'll be able to work on this i'll bring in the plain pattern paper and i'll match this together so when you are creating this remember we are creating something straight so the reason we have to draft it on the bodies is to make sure it laps on your bodies and there is no issue of falling off, you know, and all that. So if you don't want to hear or to have issues of my sleeve for failed from and it's not relaxing, so this is how to go about it. So you don't just cut any strap anyhow and attach. So you make sure these lines are lined together. And once they, they have aligned together, then you can cut or you can match them. So the space we have here does not affect anything as far as this dress is concerned because it, it has a drip. So uh, from this point to this point, I'll just connect. Okay? So I have this as one strap. So the only part you will still maintain is the part that we are going to join to the bodies, which is this part. Can you see? So that is the part we are going to join to the bodies. So I just cut and still maintain these parts. Okay? So that is that. And that is the sleeve for you. So by the time you you are done with the main bodies back and front of course you know how to sew your main bodies join them only the zipper will be open you'll be cutting twice of this make sure you note back and front this is front so you know which part matches with which part so you will come in with this as you can see sew this completely as one bodies this one is already ready and you join it to your upper bodies. You come in with your sleeve front. This is the sleeve front. And you attach this to this. And I'll just bring this to this since we have not joined the body. But by the time you join the bodies, you know how it looks. So this becomes a straight from the center front that you are going to have your drip. So as for the drape people, we have a detailed video on how to drape this particular dress on this channel. I'll be dropping, dropping the link on the description box below. So if you are making this exact um, uh, blouse, Igbo blouse, follow this process. You will get it. Sew in everything completely, leaving your zipper open. Then you can click on the link on how to drape this particular uh, dress so with your satin fabric any of the satin fabric you can use it to follow the video on how to drape 
sew the drape line on top of this neckline okay you have it right on top of this neckline then you start you know pleating okay so by the time you pleat your armhole will be well covered and you have the armhole on that so people thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again and i believe you learned a lot from this class so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye